Section 84 of the Family Law Act says that generally property is divided equally between the parties, which is your child and their ex. So what generally happens is all the family assets and all the family debts are pooled together and kind of divided equally between the parties. So everyone walks away kind of with the same asset base. The court considers, generally speaking, what happens in a marriage to be a black box financially. And there's not a lot of questions given to who wanted to buy the boat, whether the stock were a good investment or a bad investment. The idea is kind of the two parties were in this together they were a team and they're they kind of reap the results of the financial decision that was made during their marriage. However, Section 85 of the Family Law Act lists excluded property, which is called excluded because it is not usually subject to division between the parties. What we will be talking about is how you can set things up so that the assets you give your child end up as excluded property so that your child can keep them on separation or in other circumstances, situations where you're able to maintain control of the funds yourself.